Hi, you guys. Happy Friday. So this is going to be general messages for Leos and it's for November. This video was highly, highly requested. So <laughs> I was like, let me do a Leo read for y'all for November. Um, hopefully I can do more for this month. But yeah, this is the first one. I hope that it resonates y'all. Um, definitely be looking out for um, next Friday. I'm going to be dropping my money oils. Well, money oil. They look similar to that, but not, um, they look a little different. That's like my personal one, but yeah, it smells really good. It actually smells like money, but yeah, if you're interested in purchasing some, I will definitely, um, update you guys next week on when, I, when I add it to the website. So yeah, let's get into the read. I'm going to start off with some Oracle cards to see what messages you guys could be needing to know for November. Okay, what does Leo need to know for November? And this is Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I forgot to say this for the other reads that I uploaded today, but if you got Leo somewhere in your chart, then it could happen for you. But um, we got a timing card. So one to two months, and one to two months, Leo, for some of you guys, you could be, now not really sure if you already received the clarity or not, but there is some type of clarity coming in. So it could happen within, an, it could be coming in within the next um, month or two, which is very soon. Like it could actually happen this month actually for someone, but there is major clarity coming in from what's showing up here. So let's see, what else does Leo need to know for November? Yeah. What else does Leo need to know for November? So we got to stop. Something could be going on in the home or something in regards to like a home or a living situation for some of you guys. The color red could be very significant too, but we got a stop that's showing up here. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for Leo. For November. What else do they need to know for November? What else does Leo need to know for November? Let's get a car. Okay. Okay, we got self-employed. For some of you guys, you could have been, something could have stopped within like a um, work situation, y'all. But it's almost like it's leading you up to work for yourself for some people. Because my car self-employed came out. So, yeah, but it looks like you guys could have, there was like snakes at um within like a work or a job situation. So, it definitely shows where things, things could definitely be about to be revealed to you surrounding like work, career, could also to be business. But it's almost like maybe you guys were like working with some snakes or something. That's crazy. Tell me more for, um, for Leo. What else do they need to know? What else does Leo need to know? So, wow, we got new star. The way it came out just so casually, like, yeah, the color red could be very significant for you guys. That could be, like, your favorite color or something. But, yeah, it looks like um, in one to two months, y'all, which is, like, very soon. It's almost like you guys are going to be ending out. Um, the way I'm hearing it, it's like you're, you guys are ending out the year with a bang, pretty much. It's like you got the clarity that you need, you self-employed. It's like... You're feeling super inspired too. I see the ace of wands in my um, mind's eyes. So I won't be surprised if that card shows up for y'all. But yeah, it's like some good energy up here. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna pull my I'm gonna pull some cards from my daily vibes oracle deck. Tell me more for Leo's for November. What else do they need to know for November? Yeah, we got divine timing that wanted to show up. We got ask, believe, receive. So yeah, for some guys, it's like you could be definitely um, manifesting a new start. It's like maybe um, it's like the things that you've been manifesting. It definitely shows where they're going to be appearing. It's like you feel super inspired. The way I'm seeing a magician card too. I made this card like based off the magician card. But ask, believe, receive, and look, you got some good news that's going to be coming in too. So this looks really good, y'all. Yeah, the color. I don't know why it's like the color red is definitely really sticking out in y'all read. Okay, tell me more for um, Leo. And I did not mean to put that card back into the deck, but anyway, what does Leo need to know for November? What does Leo need to know? Look, we got new cycle, y'all, showing up here. Welcome in the new. See, yeah, you guys are definitely, for some people, y'all, you could definitely be in and out the new year with a bang. It's like if things don't come, if the new start don't happen or this new cycle 
if it don't happen by <laughs> December 31st, okay, at 12 o'clock, you know, right before the new year, <laughs> right before you bring in a new year, right before the ball drop, then like going into January pretty much. But for some people, it's like, yeah, it's like you're coming into the new year with all this clarity. It's like a new start. Just like everything's feeling like really, really good. It's like you feel super inspired too. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. Definitely pay attention to the angel numbers that you could be seeing too. Don't know which ones y'all seeing. You could be seeing um 444 four, four, or like 1010. 10. Tell me more. It's like all new everything. That's what I'm hearing too, Leo. Okay. So tell me more for um Leo's for November. Look, we got create, yeah. This new star, y'all, it's like 2023 could definitely be your year, okay? If you've been, like, going through it, it's like maybe you've been dealing with a lot of snakes. It's like you you didn't have all this clarity that you're about to receive, but you got a whole new, um, it's like a blank canvas pretty much. It's like if you want to paint a rabbit, it's like you can paint a rabbit. It's just like, you know, it's totally fine. The universe is supporting you too. But yeah, create, life is a blank canvas. Look, we got to reinvent yourself. So yeah, you guys are definitely, it's like all new everything. From what I'm seeing here, it's like you're about to be a new Leo or whoever you are. But yeah, um, tell me more for Leos for November. Yeah, new beginning, y'all. Look, I cannot even make this up. I wish I was, um, well, actually, I do have Leo in my chart. I be forgetting about um, my Mars is in Leo. <laughs> I really do be forgetting about it. I need to look at my chart. But um New beginning, we got a smudge that's showing up here too. So yeah, it's like you're you're getting rid of this old energy that was that could have been keeping you stuck. It's like maybe you did feel uninspired too. It's like you lost your spark or something for some people. But with this new beginning, it's like bringing in a lot of um. This could bring in some like creative stuff too for somebody. It's like you're getting some. You're getting like super inspired. Okay, so let's see what's happening here in one to two months for Leo. Y'all, I bet you some money the Ace of Wands gonna show up for y'all. Tell me about the um in one to two months for a Leo. But we got the world card, so this is that new cycle. Um, there's an air sign showing up, but like some of you guys could have been connected to an air sign. We got the Queen of Swords, like Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. But either way, it's like you've been like you had to cut some things off from what's showing up here. Um, in order for you to it's like pretty much closing out an old cycle, really getting ready for the new. Um, but with the world card coming out here, yeah. You guys are definitely it's like you're coming into this energy of feeling super accomplished here. It's like all is well. This looks really good, okay. What's happening here in one to two months for Leos? What's happening here in one to two months? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. A water sign could be very significant here. I feel like this person, I feel um, this could definitely be, um, I'm seeing like Cancer energy, but it could be any water sign. Um, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it looks like in one to two months, something dealing with like a water sign. Tell me more about this for Leo. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so for some of y'all, is there? Um, it looks like here in one to two months, it's like you're gonna be in this energy right here, y'all. Yeah, ten ten could be very significant for you guys. It's like you're coming into this stability here. It's like a family. It looks like a new family dynamic too for someone. Um, tell me about stop here for Leo. Whoa. Yeah, something could have um, went down here surrounding work and career, y'all. With the three of pentacles coming out here, yeah, it looks like there could be some type of, un um, whatever this was, that it could have um, stopped abruptly. Hopefully I'm saying that word right, but anyway, something could have stopped like very unexpectedly, but it's because you was working with some snakes. Look, three of pentacles. I feel like these two people right here, it's like they could have been acting like they was interested in what you got going on, but it's like you could have been the one doing the work. That's what it looked like. Something could have went down too with like paperwork too, but it looks like you're self-employed. For some of you, you're going to be self-employed. Tell me more um, about self-employed here for Leo. 
Yeah, we got judgment. For some of y'all, you need to make some type of decision here. Um, there could be some type of invite or like an offer that's coming in. But either way, spirit is wanting you, to, wanting you to follow your heart, follow your dreams here as well. It's like do what you love pretty much. And that could be being self-employed. But with judgment coming out here, yeah. For some of y'all, you need to... Um, it's almost like you are you could be in this phase too where it's like you're going to be releasing and healing the past. Tell me about new start for Leo. Tell me about new start for Leo. What is this about? Whoa. Yeah, look, you guys are coming out. Wow. There could have been third party situations too. But with the devil card, I feel like there were some type of unhealthy attachments. That could have been keeping you bound. Well, you thought it was keeping you bound pretty much. It could have just been like energetically soul ties to um, karmics. It don't have to be like, um, it could have been like family too. But yeah, with it's three of pentacles, you guys are healing from that. Nine of cups, you're about to get um, your wish fulfillment here too. With it's nine of cups that's showing up. So yeah. Tell me about... Um, this new start here for Leo. Tell me more about new start here for Leo. Look, and y'all cash at me. It's like, I'm just joking. I don't need no money. But yeah, then I said the Ace of Wands was going to show up. I see 1122 on the timer. Some of y'all could be seeing an angel number. But yeah, there's a fresh new start. It's like um, there's some type of inspiration. I see like some type of new business venture too. It's like whatever could have stopped unexpectedly or something. You, you guys could have had a tower moment with like a coworker or... Somebody that you was working with, it could have been like a business situation too. But it's like, don't even let that stop you. you you're you about to do something new or it's like maybe you get um, re-inspired. I don't know. That's what it looks like. But it's like you have the wand, you have the paintbrush, you can do whatever you want. And the universe is backing you up. But we got the moon card. There could be false fears and illusions here surrounding a... Um, for some people, it could be like an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Leo. Why is it showing up for Leo? Why is the moon showing up for Leo? But it looks like you guys are about to head into a new direction. Oh, for some of you guys, there could, um, there could be some type of truth. Something is, something is hidden, but it's almost like once the scales balance or something is being um rectified i guess you could say it's like maybe you guys could be needing to rectify something i don't know but it's going to be a peaceful outcome with the four of wands it looks like this is what you're coming into for some of you guys you can actually have insecurities about commitment or something um yeah but whatever that is it's like it's false fears and illusions it's like other people projected that onto you that's not real Fear is not real. It's just an illusion. Give me one more for um, Leo's. King of Cups could be very significant. Again, another water sign. But um, tell me more for Leo. For this energy for November. The Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles too. Yeah, whatever this new star is, y'all, it's very solid. I'm hearing like a solid foundation for someone. That's what it looks like. But it's like, once you close out that cycle, y'all, it's like, look, the blessing's going to be dropping in. It's like you feeling super inspired, um, offers coming in, new opportunities. Um, but with the Six of Pentacles showing up here, yeah, it looks like for some of y'all, you're coming out of a situation where it's like maybe you were this person in the middle. It wasn't like an equal give and take, but it does look like the scales are going to be balanced here in regards to what was going on. In the, um, it's almost like what you had to clear out, y'all. So if you feel like you lost something, you getting it back tenfold. So yeah, I'm going to end the read here. I hope that was helpful. I'll see y'all in another, in another read.